The biography of NCIS agent Larry Jethro Gibbs is further developed in NCIS. Origins Episode 4 Prior to Harmon's departure on NCIS in Season 19, Episode 4, Mark Harmon portrayed the role for 19 years. When the actor retired, it was unclear if the series would continue. NCIS Season 22 features Harmon's original series some years later, along with a prequel that explores the main character's early days as an NCIS agent. Harmon's exit hasn't hurt the legitimate television institution. On the contrary, it has expanded thanks to the actor's executive producing duties in the series. Gibbs in NCIS Origins is played by Austin Stowe. In contrast to the calmer agent in charge, Stowe presents a fresh image of the agent that is consistent with Harmon's personality. Nevertheless, Harmon plays a crucial role in the series. As his portrayal of Gibbs, who is depicted on screen as retired in Alaska, Harmon narrates NCIS, Origins. As he recalls his first instances on the field, he jots down his story. The boundary between the agent's past and present is blurred in NCIS. Origins and Episode 4 builds on Gibbs' NCIS tales. The day that Gibbs learns the news of what happened to his wife and children is eventually depicted in NCIS. Origins, Gibbs was assigned to Operation Desert Storm in 1991 after learning that his family had been murdered, according to NCIS Season 3. The NCIS, Origins episode ties everything together and reveals that shortly after receiving the news, Gibb goes through another horrific incident. The introduction of NCIS. Origins episode 4 demonstrates the Marines' current reaction while building on the flashbacks and stories from the flagship. Origins demonstrates how soon after, Gibbs is put into a coma by an explosion. The darkest day of Gibbs' life is thus ultimately depicted in NCIS. Origins Episode 4, offering a glimpse into his time spent abroad. As they search for a missing child called Mildred, Hattie Hoskins, Mike Franks, Kyle Schmidt, and his crew look into the murder of a science teacher in the fourth episode of NCIS. Origins The girl is staying with a slang family friend while her father is abroad. The girl is missing when the crew looks into it, but a neighbor says they saw someone drive off with her. Until they discover that the neighbor is lying to feel significant, the man's claim is the team's leader. Even though the agent in charge, Special Agent Gary Callahan, argues that Cliff Wheeler, Patrick Fischler, is past his prime, Franks persuades him that he needs an old buddy. Franks has a great deal of faith in Gary, a K-9 unit dog, and gives him extra care. Mike Franks and Gary discuss his sleepovers, during which he feeds the dog a healthy diet. The Case in NCIs Origins Episode 4 concerns a missing little girl, therefore Franks is concerned about Gibbs' emotional and mental well. When they discover some of Mildred's possessions buried in the woods while searching for her with Special Agent Gary Callahan's assistance, Franks orders the probie to remain behind. Gibbs, isolated from the other agents, demonstrates the rookie NIS agent's abilities by seeing Mildred while scanning the woods. Gibbs is the one who discovers proof of Mildred's whereabouts during the murder when the squad first examines the crime scene. Gibbs is a competent agent early on, but he must balance his instincts with the stress he is going through and how other people perceive him. This is demonstrated by his ability to find Mildred in the woods, outpacing both his team and the canine dog. Gibbs manages to conduct an investigation in spite of being restrained, much like in NCIS. Origins Episode 3 the facts of Gibbs' near-death experience, which puts him in a coma shortly after learning of Shannon and Kelly's murder, are revealed in the NCI's prequel. Gibbs received the news while in Kuwait near the end of the service for Operation Desert Storm, and the blast that nearly killed him came shortly after. When the doctor mentioned that Gibbs had previously been in a coma in the NCI's Season 3 hiatus double episode, the franchise disclosed the story.